great pleasure in welcoming His Excellency Han Zheng, Vice President of the People's Republic of China. And its I influence at the United Nations has been growing in the General Assembly and around the horseshoe table in the Security Council. In recent years, China too has become the second largest contributor to the UN's regular budget and the second largest funder for UN peacekeeping operations. China's uh, role has certainly evolved uh, and it has certainly become much, much more proactive. Uh, and certainly if you look at uh, among the P5, uh, China has uh, really started to step up uh, in the peace and security development uh, pillars. Over the years, China has also gained more influence over global development and might even hold more sway were it not for an entrenched monetary system established by the Western nations during World War II. China feels that it is contributing more, but is having still not having adequate amount of say in terms of, uh, you know, of, of how the money uh, is, is dispersed by these international financial institutions. Uh, uh, the Bretton Woods uh, one, so I'm think, talking in particular about uh, the International Monetary Fund and the World Bank uh, in, in, in very specific way. And I think part of that has got to do with the politics of it. China's approach to development uh, is broadly, if I might say so, uh, apolitical. Uh, whereas uh, the, uh, you know, the international financial institutions, particularly the Bretton Woods institutions, do follow a more Western liberal model of development. No clearer was this message than at the United Nations general debate in 2023. It's here that China told world leaders that it identifies with the goals and challenges of less developed nations and offered them an alternative to what it has long called Western homogeny. China will remain a member of the big family of developing countries as the largest developing country. China is a natural member of the global south. It breathes the same breath as other developing countries and shares the same future with them. China is firm in upholding the legitimate rights and interests of developing countries. It supports and respects their efforts to independently decide on the development paths in keeping with their national conditions. At the UN Security Council, China has also been flexing its muscle urging the Council to uphold international peace and security. This comes as Russia and the U.S. have been sparring over the conflict in Ukraine and Gaza. It's not just all talk. China remains the largest troop-contributing country among the permanent five members of the U.N. Security Council. Beijing believes that U.N. peacekeeping operations play a pivotal role in eliminating the root causes of conflict and ensuring lasting peace. Jody Jacobs, CGTN, New York.